Welcome to another Friday Classic Hymn. And today's hymn is one that many people think has been the most influential song in Christian terms ever written. Perhaps no other song has had an impact like this one has when it comes to drawing people to Christ and allowing them to understand the saving love that he offers. It's called Just As I Am. And I wonder if you have any memories of this. Did you remember hearing this for a first time or singing it at a particular place? Please share those in the comments. I don't really because I grew up in a church. We didn't sing a lot of hymns. And so I ended up learning this later in life and just really grew to love it. Share your memories of the song down below in the comments. But let's look at the history and how the song came about first. Just As I Am was written by Charlotte Elliott. She was born in 1789 in Brighton, England. Her father was an Anglican minister and she lived a pretty comfortable, pleasurable life until she was 30 years old when she became very, very ill and subsequently spent the rest of her life in bed, was unable to get up and move about because her illness had crippled her so. And this was a real struggle for her, as you can imagine. In fact, she once wrote these words, which will give you an idea of her struggle. He knows, Jesus knows, and he alone, what it is day after day, hour after hour, to fight against bodily feelings of almost overpowering weakness, languor and exhaustion to resolve not to yield to slothfulness, depression and instability, such as the body causes me to long to indulge, but to rise every morning determined to take for my motto, if a man will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross daily and follow me. She certainly didn't have it easy, as this illness took its toll on her body and on her spirit as well. Now one day in 1836, she was feeling particularly upset her whole family was busy working and planning a great big church event in which her brother was trying to raise funds for a new school he was starting. He was also a minister. And everybody was bustling about helping, setting things up, getting things ready. And she was stuck in her bed, couldn't help, and felt pretty dejected that she had nothing to offer. And in this moment of sadness and depression, she cried out to God saying, Who am I? What have I got to offer? I'm just a nobody. She sunk into a pretty deep depression because of this. And she decided in her distress to get a piece of paper and start to write out reasons that God loved her. Reasons that God would still call her a child of his, even in spite of her disability. And as she wrote, the words of this hymn just came pouring out. And it seems as if the inspiration from this came from a pivotal moment in her life years earlier. In 1822, a famous evangelist from Switzerland, Dr. Caesar Malon, came to her town. And they had a conversation at one point. She poured her heart out to him, explaining how she struggled with her faith and so on. And he said this to her. And this is what actually changed her life. He said to her, you must come just as you are, a sinner, to the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Now when she heard that, her life changed. She came to Jesus as she was. Her life was saved. And forever after, she celebrated that day as her spiritual birthday. The day that she entered into a personal relationship with Jesus. And so sitting in her dark state those 14 years later, that must have come back to mind. Because as you know, the words of the hymn say, Just as I am, without one plea, but that thy blood was shed for me. A famous, famous hymn that has touched many, as it obviously meant so much to her. Charlotte published the poem and it began to sell. And in fact, it sold so well that she ended up raising more funds than anybody else for her brother's new school. More than any church event or other fundraising they did, her poem ended up raising more money than all of it. And so in an amazing way, she was able to contribute after all. When she died years later, in among all her personal belongings were thousands, thousands of letters from people around the world who had said to her how much this hymn had meant to them. And perhaps most significantly, a young man named Billy Graham heard the song at a revival once, and having heard it, went down and gave his life to God. He went on to become probably the most successful evangelist of all time, preaching the gospel to millions. And every time he had a crusade, Just As I Am was played. 
as people came forward to give their lives to Jesus. Which is why, as I said at the beginning of the video, so many people believe that this is the most influential song ever written in the Christian faith. So often people have responded to the good news of Jesus through these words. And so let's have a look at them. Well, there are seven verses, but I only want to go through the most famous four, starting with just as I am without one plea. And that's actually a very powerful phrase, without one plea. In other words, I could, I could try to state my own case to earn God's love, but I don't have a single plea that would make any difference. I've got no, no merit to be saved. And so I just have to present myself to God just as I am, with all my stains. But, as the song says, without one plea, but that thy blood was shed for me. In other words, the blood that Jesus shed is the only reason I have to come to God. If I try to use my own good works, I've got nothing. But his blood that was shed and my faith in it is the only plea I have in front of God and that thou bidst me come to thee God bids us come he, he says to us come come to me oh I love that line that we sing over and over again oh Lamb of God I come Jesus says to us come I will wash you my blood is there to wash away your stains remember the Old Testament system was that blood sprinkled on the people and blood shed from animals would atone for sin but Jesus the Lamb of God shed his blood so that those who place their faith in him can be atoned for, their sins can be atoned for. Will you come to Jesus today as he offers you this forgiveness? Come not trying to plea your own way with what you've done, but simply trusting in his blood as the only merit to save you and wash away your stains. I love verse 2, just as I am and waiting not to rid my soul of one dark blot. I love that, waiting not. I'm not waiting any longer. I'm not putting it off. How often do we put off taking a step for God? Maybe you need to stop putting it off today and say, I'm not waiting anymore. I'm just coming as I am because I need my dark blots and my spots. As the third line says, to thee whose blood can cleanse each spot, O Lamb of God, I come. His blood cleanses us. All of our stains are cleansed when we come to him as we are. Will you come? Just as I am, verse 3 says, Though tossed about with many a conflict, many a doubt, fightings and fears within, without, O Lamb of God, I come. So often it's a wrestle, it's a struggle for us to come to God. We've got all sorts of reasoning, all sorts of wonderings, all sorts of doubts and conflicts. But come, come anyway to Him, just as you are, and let Him hold you and wash you and cleanse you. And then verse 4, which I love, says, Just as I am, thou wilt receive. Do you hear that? God will receive you just as you are. So often we, we say, let me sort myself out and then come to God and he'll receive me. No, come to him as you are, as you are, and he will receive you. He will welcome you and pardon you and cleanse you and relieve you. Why? Because of your faith in Jesus. Because you believe in his promise that Jesus' blood cleanses you. That's it. That's it. If you truly believe that Jesus is the Son of God and His blood cleanses you, you can come as you are and find these blessings, the, the pardon, the cleansing, the relief, and the receiving that God has for you. He will receive you into His family just if you have the faith to come just as you are to the Lamb of God. Will you come to Him today? Will you just forget about all the other stuff, and come as you are to receive his love. Friends, Jesus longs for you and I and each one of us to be saved. Maybe this is your moment. Maybe this is your moment to come to him in prayer just as you are, even though you're stained, even though you're full of sin, and receive the cleansing that he has to offer. He's longing to cleanse you. He's longing to make you new. He's longing to bring you into his presence, not to punish you, but to make you new. The Lamb of God gave his life for you. Come to him today just as you are and receive new life. As we sing these words together.
just as I am without one plea, but that thy blood was shed for me, and that thou bidst me come to thee, O Lamb of God, I come, I come. Just as I am and waiting not to rid my soul of one dark blot to thee whose blood can cleanse each spot so land of God I come I come just as I am though tossed about with many a conflict, many a doubt, fightings and fears within, without a lamb of God I come. Just as I am, thou wilt receive, wilt welcome, pardon, cleanse, relieve, because thy promise.